pickup trucks have evolved quite a bit over the last 20 years. No longer are they dedicated tools of tradesmen or simply haulers of horses. They have created their own luxury segment so decidedly American that you have to tip your hat to whomever at Ford first said, you know, I think the F-150 needs an interior nicer than a Lincoln. Although we're guessing the green light wasn't illuminated until someone crunched the numbers and said, and would you look at the margins? One result is that the newest F-150 isn't just a 10 best trucks and SUVs winner, it's good compared with any vehicle. Granted, towering above other traffic in the caribou accented leather interior of our King Ranch Edition test model leaves no question as to whether you're in a pickup, but this truck's ride, on 55 series, 20-inch tires, is nothing short of astonishing. Both the Ford and the Ram 1500 deliver amazing ride quality. But the F-150's tuning is even more impressive given our test truck's higher payload capacity, 1,526 pounds versus 1,262 for a recent Ram 1,500 we tested. The greater the difference between a truck's empty and fully loaded weight, the firmer and more during the unloaded ride usually is. But that isn't the case with the F-150 attentive damper and spring tuning is evident and appreciated with every pothole, expansion joint, and speed bump traversed. EcoBoost, Take 2. Headlining the changes for 2017 is a new powertrain combo. Replacing the original twin turbocharged 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6 is a Gen 2 unit of identical displacement and turbocharger count. This V6 now employs port fuel injectors to bolster partial load efficiency, while direct fuel injectors do the work under full load. Max power is up by 10 ponies to 375 and peak torque jumps from 420 pounds-foot to 470 at 3,500 revolutions per minute. That output is routed through a new 10-speed automatic transmission co-developed with General Motors. Together, the new engine and transmission option added $1,000 to the tab for our King Ranch. At the track, the new truck sprinted to 60 miles per hour in 5.7 seconds, one-tenth quicker than the previous F-150, and broke the quarter-mile tape in 14.4 seconds at 97 miles per hour, 0.2 second and 2 miles per hour improvements. Credit both the engine and the 10 speed, which shuffled gears like a blackjack dealer. At the track, we also discovered just how easy the F-150 is on the ears, with a noise level of 67 decibels at a 70 miles per hour cruise. To put that into perspective, our long-term BMW 740i generates 68 decibels at the same speed. Big price. Today's big pickups come with equally big price tags, and the F Series is no exception. A 3.5 liter EcoBoost Super Crew 4x4 starts at $40,645, and that's in work truck XL trim. Jumping past the XLT and Lariat trim levels to the King Ranch requires another $16 Camo 4 Our test example also came with a $3,780 equipment package consisting of inflatable rear seat belts upgraded front bucket seats, blind spot monitoring, cross-traffic alert and trailer tow monitoring, a deployable tailgate step, power running boards, 20-inch aluminum wheels, automatic high beams, and rain-sensing wipers. The truck seen here was further enriched by a $895 towing package, netting the clever backup assistant and a 10,700-pound tow rating although other configurations can reach 11,500, a panoramic sunroof for $1,295, adaptive cruise control and forward collision warning, $1,250, a 36-gallon fuel tank for $445, making for 680 miles of highway range, the $440 automatic parking feature, the $990 technology package, lane keeping assist in a 360 degree camera view, and a spray and bed liner, $495, among other sweeteners. All in, our F series has a 65.